Hey everybody, this is Mark with TranscendYourStory.com and I'm here with Nassim Harriman from the Resonance Research Project and we're here at the Awake and Aware Conference 2011 and Nassim is here to share his expertise in all things metaphysical and mathematical when it comes to the importance of emotional coherence in terms of how effective we are at creating our reality. Nassim, what would you say about emotional health and well-being to the people out there? That um, you know, if you look at the science of epigenetics, um, we're now discovering that actually our, our state of emotion has a direct impact on the genetic code of our, you know, DNA structure and so on. And that, that is constantly in a state of flux with our state of emotion. And so right there you get evidence that your state of emotion has a direct impact, at least on your body. And, you know, from the research I've been doing, been showing that actually every atom, every proton is in connection with everything else in the universe, that there is a direct relationship between each point in the universe and the rest of the universe. So anything you actually feed the universe is going to be felt by the whole and is going to be fed back to you by the whole. So and we're in constant communication with every other particle in the universe at any time. At every time yes. with our emotional status. That's right. And and actually that's how the universe learns about itself. That's how the universe grows. So so you know it's an, it's a matter of like you know, what are we feeding the universe? What are we telling the universe? And and you know, the universe is gonna respond from our experience. So it's crucial that we understand that link, that we realize that and you know, that we start to, you know, um, maybe have a certain way of interacting with the universe that's giving us more of what we want and less of what we don't want. Phenomenal. How important is it in those terms as far as going and processing, let's say, traumas that we've picked up and carry with us throughout our life? Well, you know, if you think of, I like to think in terms of literal mechanics, the movement of the earth moving through the solar system as it orbits and the solar system moving through the galaxy results in the earth making this huge vortex into space and you can think of information or time being information plastered or recorded on the structure of space-time as it moves through the universe as our planet moves through the universe and so you're very specific point, your very specific state is recorded by the universe on the structure of space-time as you move through space. And a, a, a trauma is really like, uh, you know, a set of information on that structure. And so you have access to it because that thread, that string of information is attached to your present. And so you can go along that string back in time in your own mind and actually go and modify the information in the structure of space-time itself so that the influence of that information is changed in your present. And it has a, replica a repercussion all the way to your present and all the way back to all your ancestry and it should show in your body, in your mind, and the way you do things. Two things come to mind. The Native Americans have a saying that when we heal ourselves, we heal seven generations behind, seven generations ahead. I think that's very much related to what I just explained. When I saw you in Australia, you mentioned talking about emotional health, well-being, and, and processing, that we have to figure out a way of going back in time into the memory and changing it and processing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's and been my experience time and time again. Yes, and, and actually that's the base of psychology, you know, they make you think about, you know, when you were young and difficult moments you had, and, but I think that if you understand the mechanics of it, then it becomes that much more powerful and that much more direct. And, and really, if there was a trauma where somebody was doing something to you or whatever, the idea is to actually take, you know, those strings at that moment between that person and you cross. And so at that cross, you can jump onto that string and experience the event from that perspective. And as soon as you do, you actually change the relationship to 180 degree. And you might 
find new level of compassion for what happened and, and change your opinion of what happened and see things that you didn't see before and see it in a different way. And as soon as you do, you're actually changing the information in that present on the structure of space-time, which has an influence, you know, in your present and in all the gen generation behind. Would that, would changing that experience, that moment of time, influence not only, let's say, myself, but someone else who experienced that same moment? Yes, absolutely. It would have an impact on that person, it will have an impact on your parents, on your grandparents, and so on. And it will change your future because you will be start, you will take different decisions from that moment on because that experience will have a different impact on your on your present. Nassim, thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, everybody on the internet, we love you. Keep your hearts open. Awaken Aware 2011, great group of people. Nassim, amazing. Thank, thank you, you very much.